Here we go. I think this is the trouble. Hold still, little red tractor. If I loosen the alternator and shift it down... That's got it. I think we'd better get down to the garage and get a new fan belt, just in case. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Hello, Mr Jones. Morning. Ooh. That's well timed. I'm ready to get started on Big Blue straight away. Marvellous. Oh, and don't forget, Nicola, after the service, he needs a jolly good spruce up. No problem. Needs to look tip-top so I can get the best price possible. Best price? Eh, you're not thinking of selling him, are you? Precisely. I'm getting a new one. What? You can't. I can. Now, looky here. It's the latest model, the 501. And Big Blue's a great tractor. And he's more than just a tractor. He's part of our community. It's the 501. It's like selling a friend. What if we sold you, Mr Jones? We wouldn't get much. Oh, I should have guessed you wouldn't understand. I mean, just look at this place. It's avoided progress for years. Now, hold on. You have to move with the times. And talking about moving, I must get on. I say, any chance of a lift home? Hmm? Hello, Mr Jones. Where's Big Blue? Hello, Stan. No, he's at the garage, getting a spruce up ready for tomorrow. It's all rather exciting, actually. Why, what's happening to Big Blue tomorrow? Getting rid. <sighs> You're getting rid of Big Blue? Yes. Look. It's the latest model, the 501. Oh, Big Blue's a good tractor. He's almost new. Oh, never mind. I should have realised, given the age of your old tractor, that you wouldn't understand. Look, I'm in a bit of a rush, and... Any chance of a lift? No? Don't worry, big guy. We won't let him sell you. Hello, you two. Hi. I guess you've heard the news. We can't let him do it, Stan. I know, but Big Blue is Mr Jones's tractor after all. If only we could make Mr Jones realise what a special tractor he's got. That's it. Walter, you're a genius. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> I've got a plan, but we're going to need everyone's help. Are you in? Yep. You betcha. What's the plan, Stan? Walter. You need to hide Sparky, then hide yourself. We'll pretend you're out on a job and... Oh, wow! Oh. Hmm. Look, thanks for coming, Stumpy. There's not much I can do on my own without Big Blue. Where is he today? Um, he's... I don't want to make Stumpy mad at me, too. I need his help. Um, well, he's... On holiday. Holiday? Yes, um, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Oh, it's all right for some. <laughs> right, what do you want doing? Ha ha ha! Right, um, thought we'd start with the ploughing. I reckon this will be the perfect spot to put our plan into action. It should be nice and safe. Hardly anyone comes up here anymore. Hmm. That log may be a bit too heavy. Well, OK, let's give it a go. It will certainly be more of a challenge when Big Blue gets here. That should do it, Stumpy. Right, yo. Chop, chop. Oh, it's no good. It's not budging. I do believe Big Blue would have had half the field ploughed by now. Hmm. Well, I guess you won't be needing our help anymore, then. So, we'll get off home and... Uh, no, 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 no. Of course I need your help. I know. What if we raise the plough? That way it won't be dragging along the ground. Oh, good idea. There. Uh, Mr Jones? Yes? Don't think that's helped. <sighs> no. Here we go. A brand new air filter. Right, I'm off to put my part of the plan into action. Off to hide Sparky. What a plan! Oh, don't worry. Stan's plans never fail. There we go. OK, little red tractor. Get ready. Now, heave! 
Come on, little red tractor. Well done. Great job. All we have to do now is get Mr. Jones. Uh, uh, I'm not sure this is such a great idea. Of course it is. If we move the damp bales from the bottom out into the sunshine, they will dry out in no time at all. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Good job, Nipper. <laughs> Stronger than you look. <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess you were right, Stumpy. Not such a great idea. Should I ask? Best not. Can someone please get me out of here? No problem. Little Red Tractor and I will have you out of there in no time. Oh, Mr Jones, I need your help. There's a tree blocking the track through Tawny Owl Wood. We tried to move it, but Little Red Tractor's not strong enough. I'm sure Big Blue wouldn't have had a problem shifting it. Well, I was hoping the two of you would be able to clear the track. I mean, if there was an emergency and someone wanted to get through... Of course, in an emergency, no one could get through. There's no time to lose. Exactly. I'll get Big Blue. Don't worry. We'll save the day. What? I thought Big Blue was on holiday. Holiday? Yeah, a tractor holiday with other tractors. Come on, let's get you out of there. I think you must have bumped your head. Nicola! <laughs> Need Big Blue immediately. It's emergency. Emergency? Yes, emergency. Big Blue and I. Only ones who can come to the rescue. Really? Uh -huh. Stan's little tractor's too feeble. Uh... Oh? Well, I've just finished. Look, he's ready to go. Marvellous. Come on, Big Blue. Good luck. Cheerio! Looks like Stan's plan started to work. Nice and easy, little red tractor. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Stan. Any time. And thank you too, Little Red Tractor. We're going to see how Mr Jones is getting on. Are you coming? Oh, oh no. <laughs> well, I've had quite enough excitement for one day. Here we go. That's it, Mr Jones. You can do it. Of course we can. Come on, Big Blue. Well done, us! Did you see that, Stan? Good job. That was a very heavy log. Oh, it was a breeze. Big Blue is so strong, and with me at the wheel, <laughs> what a team. Hmm, it's too bad you're getting rid of him. Oh, no. Change of plan, you see. Can't break up the winning team, can we? And the 501? Well, I think that everyone was right. Big Blue is more than just a tractor. I don't expect you to understand, but, um, well, I've really become very fond of him. You mean he's more like a friend than just a tractor? Exactly. That's it. A friend. Oh, I understand, all right. I'm sure I don't know where I'd be without my friend, Little Red Tractor. That's you all clean, Little Red Tractor. I think it's starting to clear up, finally. Now we can go and feed the pigs. They will love the new food I've got for them. Almost as much as they like the rain and the mud. Hey? Oh, rats! Something has eaten all the pig food. We'd better get down to the market and pick up some more. Oh, I forgot, it's a Sunday. The market will be closed. Hmm. Let's go and check on them anyway, and then we can go and see if one of our neighbours has got anything for the pigs to eat. Come on, Little Red Tractor, let's go. Faster, Big Blue! Must press on! 
No! Well, don't look so grumpy. It wasn't my fault. How was I to know the road was so slippery? Oh, all right. Maybe I was going a little too fast, but... Pigs. <laughs> hmm? The fence! They're getting away! Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> oh, drat! Looks like it's clearing up, Nicola. About time. But once the rain stops, I'll get up and fix the roof. About time. Oh, you know I was going to get round to patching it up. Uh-huh. I was. It may be too late, Dad. These cakes and sandwiches are ruined. I'm going outside to get out of this rain. Well, it's not that bad. Well, look, we could dry the bread out. It's... Uh, um... Uh, I'll go and fetch the ladder. <sighs> Ah, Stan. Hello, Mr. Jones. Trouble? Uh, well, yes. Big Blue is stuck in the mud. Um, but it wasn't my fault. No, 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 no. Not me. It was this rotten weather. And, um, I, I may have been going a teeny weeny here, a bit too fast, but oh, you... Oh, no, my fence. Ah, sorry about that. But I will fix that up for you. By the time we get finished, it will be... Where are our pigs? Well, they were playing in the mud, then they ran off. Um, sorry. I did try and stop them, really, I did. We'd better get after them. But Stan, Big Blue... OK, I'm sure the pigs won't get far. Don't worry, we'll have Big Blue out of there in no time. Oh, well, I thought that perhaps you would go and get Nicola and Sparky to tow him out for me. I think it may be too big a job for your tiny tractor. He... Little Red Tractor is stronger than he looks. <laughs> oh, pigs! Oh, wow! Oh. 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 oh, that was close. Even for me. Oh, I'm all covered in mud. Oh, well. Now, what were Stan's pigs doing out here? Oh, and where did they go? Right. Are you sure about this, Stan? Big Blue is very, very heavy. It will be no problem. Right, Little Red Tractor. We'll have to be really careful here. OK, ready? Come on, Little Red Tractor. You can do it. Hmm, just as I thought. Not strong enough. Ooh. Well done, Little Red Tractor. Marvellous. I knew you could do it. You know, he really is quite strong for a little tractor. We should get after our pigs. Thanks, Dan. And look, I may as well fix up your fence for you. It's the least I can do. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. What's that? Oi! Get out of there! What's all the noise about? Oh, Dad! What happened? I. What happened? Pigs! There were two pigs! Oh, and they pushed you off, did they? Nah! I slipped trying to scare them away! They were eating our soggy buns! They're welcome to them. They're no use to us. <laughs> well, I see your new safety harness works. Oh, yeah, like a dream! Although, um... It does nip a bit. Here, piggy, piggy, piggy. You all right? You're all covered in mud. Pigs? Your pigs were in the middle of the road, Stan. I had to swerve to avoid them. I'm sorry, Stumpy. They escaped. Oh, <laughs> no harm done. Where were they? Right here. Stood in the mud. Happy as anything. They do love the mud. I was trying to see where they went. Not this way. They may have gone off towards Beach Garage. We'll try there. Cheers, Stumpy. Cheerio! Nearly there. Ah. Thanks, girl. Hi, Stan. Hi, little red tractor. 
Hello. What are you two up to? Well, to cut a long story short, leaking roof, soggy buns. Oh, dear. Uh, what are you going to do with the, um, with the slop? I'm chucking it out. Could I have it? Of course. It's for my pigs, if I ever find them. Dad saw some pigs earlier. Pigs? I saw some pigs earlier, little pink porkers with black spots. They sound like mine. Where did they go? Not sure. I was dangling upside down at the time. Hold on. Oh, I can see them. They're down at Marshy Wood. Oh, and Stan, you may want to hurry. Looks like they're in trouble. Right, let's go. Go on, my son. <laughs> Just as I said. <laughs> Works like a dream. Oh, Dad. Uh, any chance you could get me down? I'll get Sparky. Oh. oh, no. This is going to be tricky. The water is quite deep. In fact, it's almost as deep as your trailer. Hmm. I wonder if... Yes, I've got a plan, little red tractor, but it's going to need all your strength. I hope this works. Steady does it. This may just work. Almost there, little red tractor. Whoa! Come on, lads. Come on. That's it, fellas. Now, pull, little red tractor. You can do it. That a boy. Just a little further. Brilliant. Well done, little red tractor. Got you. <laughs> the length you two will go to for a bit of mud. That's it! Mud! I reckon Riverside Field is too clean and grassy for them, and all this mud has given me an idea. What are they up to? Wahey! <laughs> Great job, little red tractor. Looks like we've got two very happy pigs here, thanks to you. Now, I think there is still one job left to do. I think we need to give you another wash and a polish. Wakey, wakey, little red tractor. Rise and shine. Exciting news. Veronica is due to have her calf today, so I thought we'd take a drive out to Top Acre to see how she's doing. Sign of Veronica. No, that's a good sign. Cows often wander away from the herd when they're about to have a calf. Let's have a look up the top end. Shh, look, there she is. We mustn't disturb her. We'll pop back later and make sure she's okay. Son, how are you then? Shh. How are you then? I'm fine. Veronica is about to have a calf. We're trying not to disturb her. Oh, oh, I see. Well, don't you worry. We won't make a sound. Thanks, Stumpy. We'll see you later. Gently now, Nipper. Let's not startle Veronica. Wow! <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Mr. Jones! Mr. Jones! Ah, morning, Stan. Going to chop down the old tree here for a bit of firewood. Can I ask a favour? Favour? Will it cost me anything? No, it's just that Veronica is about to have a calf. 
I was wondering if you could keep the noise down. Not a problem. I'll be as quick as you like. Right equipment for the job, you see. Mm. Thanks. Bye. said this old car would never run again. But Walter, the expert mechanic, has... has spoken too soon. Why, eh? Why do you keep doing this to me? Have I ever upset you? Have I? Hmm? Are you mooing at me? Oh, hi, Nicola. Huh? No, I was just... Uh... Yeah, broken down. How did you know? Now the car is making mooing noises. Uh, yeah. Well, I thought it was strange too. Here, can you come by and give me a tow? Yeah. Thanks, girl. Bye. That's it. It's definitely the scrapyard for you this time. And will you stop doing that? Hi, Stan. Hi there. I didn't expect to see you today. We've come to see if everything's all right with Veronica. As far as I know. It's just that we were worried. Worried? Whatever for? Well, we passed our baker and noticed the gate was open and we just... Open? Yeah. We thought that maybe there'd been a problem. There wasn't, but there may be now. Thanks for telling me, but I have to rush. I'll phone you later and let you know the news. I hope Veronica's OK. Stan Little Red Tractor will make sure she is. Don't worry. Stan didn't finish feeding the pigs. Come on, we can do it. Oh, no. Veronica has wandered off to be on her own. She could be anywhere. Come on, let's see if Mr Jones is still in the next field. Maybe he's seen something. Mr. Jones? Stan, any news about your calf yet? No, Veronica's gone missing. Don't suppose you've seen her, have you? No, been a bit busy. Worked quick, though, like I promised. Thanks. We'll go back up the other way. I don't suppose you're interested in buying... a few bits of firewood? <laughs> I can't understand it. They were strange sounds. It's a bit like mooing. <laughs> Have you seen Veronica anywhere? Your cow? Yes, somehow she got out of Top Acre. She's expecting a calf any time. I'm very worried. Cow? Oh, I'm an idiot. A cow, of course. Walter? I thought the car was making mooing noises, but it must have been... Veronica. Veronica. Which direction did the sound come from? Oh, well, uh, you see, I wasn't really listening. I, I, I thought it was the car, you see. Tell you what, Stan. I'll go this way and you check back that way. Deal. Well, what about me? What about my car? The car can wait and the garage is unmanned. Could you wander back, Dad, and I'll come back for you as soon as we've found Veronica. Thanks, Nicola. Give me a call on the mobile if you see anything. Will do. This is all your fault. Making mooing noises. <laughs> what say we check the fields? Come on, little red tractor. Let's go. Veronica! Look. They look fresh. I'm sure these belong to Veronica. Come on, little red tractor. We'll follow them. Steady now. Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, Stumpy. I don't suppose you've seen Veronica anywhere, have you? Uh, no, no. I've been busy fixing Nipper here. We had a bit of a ding with the gate up at Top Acre this morning. What time? Oh, I don't know. I'd just seen Stan and then we bumped into the... Uh-oh. Uh the gate! That's it! That's how she must have got out. I'm sorry. I, I didn't think to check the gate. Come on, I'll help you look. Oh, I'm hearing mooing wherever I go now. Hey, just a minute. That's coming from inside the garage. Oh, Veronica? Veronica, there you are. Now, don't 
you worry now. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, Stan's gonna be so relieved. Whoa! Walter, it's the strangest thing. I was just about to call you. We were you. following hoof prints, but they stopped just before the I garage. I found Veronica. You won't believe you this, but... You found her. Yeah, she's round the back, sheltering in a garage. Good as gold. That is a relief. Well, what do we do now? Nothing we can do but wait. You can't hurry Mother Nature. Shh! I haven't said anything. I only wanted some diesel. Shh! Veronica is in the bay waiting to have her calf. Yeah, sorry, but we're closed until the little one is born. Well, what am I supposed to do? You'll have to wait. I don't think it will be long now. You can't hurry Mother Nature. <laughs> oh, very well. Stan, it's all my fault. You see, I... Shh. What? You found her. Yes, she's in the garage here. About to give birth, I think. Oh, that's great news. So, what do we do now? We, we wait. wait. You, you can't, can't hurry Mother, Mother Nature. Nature. We may as well eat. I'll get some sandwiches. That sounds promising. Ah, <laughs> uh, about my diesel. Hmm? Stumpy? Stumpy? Hi, Elsie. Is Stumpy around? <laughs> oh, he's around all right. He's supposed to be working, but he's nipped off to his den. <laughs> Brian and Amy have just gone round to find him. Hi, Stumpy. Mm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, you two. What a great den. What are you doing here? Oh, this and that, you know. <laughs> I actually do most of my thinking in here. Sleeping, more like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we should make our own den. Yeah. There are times when we all need a quiet place to ourselves. Stan! Stumpy's got a den! Has he now? Yeah! He does this mat in it. Oh, he does not a lot in it, if you ask me. <laughs> We're going to make our own den. Will you and Little Red try to help us? No problem. I'll just get this corn unloaded. Well, it's, um, it, it's the weather, you see. People love walking about the countryside in the sunny weather. Footpaths, Walter. Eh? If they stick to the footpaths, there's no problem. Footpaths for ramblers, my land for, well, for me. Well, why don't you put up a few signs, you know, keep out, that sort of thing. Signs are no use. A patrol should do it. I'll chase them off. Come on, Big Blue. Cheerio! Oh, sure, yeah. How about here? Perfect place for a den, if you ask me. Uh, It's nice and sunny, but it's a bit... you know... Open. We want somewhere more hidden away, really. Oh, OK, then. We'll find somewhere else. How about there? Too shady. This any better? Sorry, too damp. Any good? Too sunny. Well, I can only think of one more place. Come on, you ramblers, show your faces. <sighs> hmm. No sign of them here, Big Blue. Let's try over on the other side. This is great! Really? This is perfect! Brilliant! <laughs> We're going to need rugs and cushions and things to make it more cosy. Why don't you ask around? I'm sure people will let you have a few things. OK. 
OK, but we mustn't tell anyone what the things are for. Mustn't we? No, it's a secret den. We can keep a secret, can't we, little red tractor? <laughs> Step. Seen any? Morning, Mr. Jones. Can't say I have, no. On patrol. Can't be too careful, can you? And what have you two got in there? Nothing. Just a few things. We're throwing them away. Good for you. Out with the old, in with the new. That's what I always say. See you later. Out with the old? Good thing some of us don't think like that, isn't it, little red tractor? <laughs> There you go. What are you going to do with it? It's a secret, Nicola. Oh, right. Sorry. No problem. Hello there. What's that old rug for, then? We're not to ask, Dad. It's a secret. A secret, eh? Well, I can keep a secret. Thanks for helping us. It's really good. We'll leave you to it, then. Be in the yard if you need us. Come on. <laughs> Not a rambler to be seen, Big Blue. Must know we're looking for them. Come on, then. Time to start some proper work. <laughs> ah. 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 Ramblers, Big Blue. Straight ahead, just as I thought. They do look a bit strange, though. We'd better warn Stan. Do you think he spotted the den? I don't think so. He might have seen us, but he won't have seen the den. Whoa! <laughs> You've got ramblers, Stan. Ramblers? Ramblers, strange people running about in strange clothes. Cloaks, shawls, that kind of thing. Cloaks and shawls? Oh, yes, I know who you mean. You do? Yes, they're, um, some people up from the village. Badger watchers. They're looking for badger sets. Well, they're not going to find any the way they're carrying on, shrieking and hollering. Got any more crates, Stan? Oh, oh, hello, Mr Jones. Uh, you know, for throwing away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where all this rubbish comes from. Just when things were going so well. Hold on. What's that rubbish doing there? Someone's been dumping rubbish on Stan's land. Or what is the world coming to? Come on, Rusty. Better go tell Stan the bad news. I wouldn't let them on my land. They're pests, trampling all over the crops. Here, Stan! You're not going to believe this. But someone's been dumping rubbish in the corner of Top Acre. Probably your badger people. Badger people? That's terrible, Walter. Thanks for telling me. I've got to go over to Stumpy's in a minute. I'll take a look. While you're at it, you'd better make sure those badger people aren't still raving about up there. I'll do that too. See you. Phew. Not easy keeping something a secret round here. It won't be long, Elsie. Just go to tell Stan his flare is ready. Why he can't use a phone like normal people, I'll never know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello again. Nice place you got here. It was. Everyone all right? Oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> You do look silly, Stumpy. Honestly, this is supposed to be a secret, Dan. <laughs> Not much of a secret. Oh, you know what you can do? What? Stop trying to keep it a secret and have a grand opening. I bet everyone will leave you alone after that. Really? Well, it worked for me. Elsie's never been to my den since the grand opening. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I'll run round and spread the word. And while you two put the den back to rights, Little Red Tractor and I will fetch some drinks and biscuits. What do you say? You're, You're on. on. <laughs> Nearly 
be ready. Well, I hope you've got a door to your den. Keep those badger people out. <laughs> hmm. Good point, Mr. Jones. Oh! What if they're in there already? Oh, no! I'll get them! Oh, they wouldn't dare go into... Ah, has a badger! It's OK, Mr. Jones. It's me. Ah, what? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, of course, it's, it's you. Oh, no. Afraid I misled you earlier. I was trying to keep a secret. There are no badger watchers round here. It was Ryan and Amy all along. We were getting stuff for our den. Hmm. Oh, yes, 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 I knew that. Yes, I was in on the joke, too. Just playing along, you see. <laughs> there. Ready? Yep. We, we now declare our secret den open! open. Okay, little red tractor, ready for a trip over to Stumpy's? Just one more sack and we'll be off. Hi, Stan! Wait for us. Hello, you two. Hello, little red tractor. We've come to help you, Stan. You're too late, I'm afraid. I've got all the corn loaded aboard. Tell you what, though. You can help me and little red tractor to take it to Stumpy's. Yay! Hello, Mr. Jones. Hi, Thomas. Hello. Hello, children. Your mother said I might find you here. Huh? You were looking for us? Yes. Thomas is staying with me for the weekend, and he was looking for someone to play with. <laughs> Uncle Jasper's only got some rubbish car games on his computer. Oh, they're jolly good. <laughs> uh, not that I play them, of course. No, no, no. Um... We were going to go to Stumpy's with Stan the Little Red Tractor. Perhaps you'd like to come too, Thomas. Cool, yes, please. If that's all right with you, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Cheerio. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Got that corn I promised you, Stumpy. And some helpers too, I see. Uh, is Nipper OK, Stumpy? S Nipper? Oh, he's as good as gold. I've just been balancing his wheels. Wish I had a quad bike. <laughs> You'll need to be a little bit older for one of them. When I was your age, I used to have a cart. Made it myself, I did. Well, with a little bit of help from me old dad. Did you crash that too, Stumpy? No. W well, just once or twice. Hmm. It can't be that hard to make a cart. Not if you've got a bit of know-how in that. How about we make one for you three? Wow, brilliant! Oh, God! Wow, weird! I got a set of wheels round the back you can have. Oh, this is going to be great! Terrific! Bugs me go first. Uncle Jasper's tool shed's full of bits of wood and nuts and bolts and stuff. Well, perhaps we can go and make it there. <laughs> Uncle Jasper! <laughs> Uncle Jasper! <laughs> We're going to make a <laughs> cart, <laughs> Uncle Jasper! <laughs> Oh. Whoops, sorry, Uncle Jasper. Well, well, not to worry. No harm done. Something the matter, Mr. Jones? No, no, everything's fine. New shoes. Just a little worried that they might have got scuffed. <laughs> Brand new. Jolly expensive. <laughs> what are you doing back so soon? We're going to make a cart, Mr. Jones. Can we use some of our stuff in your tool shed? Well, yes, I, I should... Um, Think so. Yay! Let's get it! Come on, this way. I think they're a little bit excited. Cool, this is going to be the best cart ever! Then it'll go really fast. Have to make sure this is well oiled. Just look at that! Um, Stan, can you manage without me for a moment? Oh, yes, I expect so, Mr. Jones. Just as well I didn't get it on my shoes. Hate to ruin them. Yes, right. Let's have the seat, you two. Well, what do you think? My word, Tim, that looks marvellous. We're going to call it the Beach Farm Flyer. And I'm going to have first go. Whoops! 
Sorry, Mr Jones. Oh, look at what you've done. I've got oil all over my trousers. You... <laughs> no harm done. Shoes still OK, I'm happy to report. Jolly good. Perhaps we ought to take this somewhere else. Wonder if Walter would like to give it the once-over. Yeah! My go now! Take it easy down the hill now. Little Red Tractor and I'll go ahead to make sure the road's clear and safe. OK, Thomas? OK, Stan. Here goes. Gonna get me my mojo. I'm gonna make it work. Gonna get me my mojo. Uncle Walter? Yeah? What's a mojo? Well, yeah, it's a sort of, um... Well, it's like, well... Well, it, it, you know, it's more like a kind of, uh, um... It's, um... Wow! That's cool! But I haven't told you what it is yet. Not a mojo, but... It's great! Whoa, I say! Hi, Stan! This got anything to do with you? I helped a bit. It was Stan's idea! Not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. But I think it's... missing something. I was beginning to wonder where you'd got to, Stan. Is the car to succeed? It's more than that, Mr. Jones. It is! That's what I call a cart. Walter helped us make a few improvements. He certainly did. Now, who's ready for something to eat? Me! Me! Looks like it's time I took you back to the garage, Leo. Fancy a ride on Little Red Tractor? Yes, please. See you later. Bye, Leo. Leo. Bye. <laughs> it really is rather splendid. Quite takes me back. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I wonder. Vroom. Oh, dear. I can't stop. How do you stop this thing? <laughs> Thank goodness, it stopped. Very mud. Very, very muddy mud. And I've still got my new shoes on. Help. Hello, help. 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 Afraid Uncle Jasper's not a very good cook. There's nothing worse than burnt fish fingers. There is. Burnt chips and burnt... Beans. Yeah, and... What? Where's our car? Mr Jones has gone too. Stan, the beach farm fly is gone. So's Uncle Jasper. He's gone too? <laughs> Why is it, Stan? You don't think... <laughs> what? You don't think Mr Jones went for a ride on the beach farm flyer, do you? I hope not. He doesn't know how to drive it. It's not hard. I know, but if his cart's driving is anything like his cooking... Come on, let's go and see if we can find him. Looks like he came this way. There's a mud guard! There's the exhaust pipe! Oh. Well, if someone doesn't come soon, there's only one thing for it. I'm going to have to get my shoes dirty. What was that? Hello? It sounds like... like... Little Red Tractor! Over here! Help! Help! Hello. Did you hear that? Uncle Jasper, what happened? I, um... Well, I, look, could you just get me out? Whoa! I think we're going to have to tow you out, Mr Jones. It's pretty muddy here. I know. You've made a right mess of the beach farm flyer, Uncle Jasper. I know. I'm sorry. And I'm sure we can fix it when I'm out of this bog. Here you go, Mr Jones. Catch! OK, little red tractor. Steady as she goes. <laughs> sorry, Mr Jones. There. You're as good as new again. Ah, fix up your cart again, eh? Well, this time I can suggest you add some brakes. We had brakes last time. Did you? Then why did I end up in the mud? 
Perhaps you didn't use it? And if it hadn't been for Little Red Tractor, he might still be there, Uncle Jasper. <laughs> Very true. Thanks, Little Red Tractor, you saved my bacon. And my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> All we need now is Ryan and Amy. And for you to keep your nose out of our picnic hamper patch. Hi, Star. We're here. Are you ready? Well, let's see. I've got sandwiches, pop, Ryan, Amy, Stan, and Little Red Tractor. Yep, I reckon we're all ready for our picnic. Ah, Stan, there you are. Hello, Mr. Jones. Hi, Thomas. Hi, Stan. I've come to ask you a favour, Stan. See, I've been digging a drainage ditch in one of my fields. It's really hard work, isn't it, Uncle Jasper? I'll say, I don't know. Yes, that is no. No, not at all. Piece of cake. Only, but um... You said... Only! I've been called away on business and I was wondering... If I could finish the ditch off for you. Thank you, Stan. I know I could rely on you. Thing is, we were going on a picnic. Well, you can have your picnic in my field. Maybe you could take Thomas with you. A picnic? Yeah. Well, that settles it. See you later. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Stan, do you want some of these sandwiches? Phew, yeah. This digging builds up quite an appetite. Thanks, Amy. Maybe we could give you a hand. I don't know. It's very hard work. I'm pretty strong. Me too. We can do it. Right, then. Hang on. I think I've found something. It looks like a coin. And there's more down here. Look! Wow! You know what, Ryan? I think these might be Roman coins. Roman? I don't wow. believe it. Treasure! Hello, Mr. Jones. We finished your ditch. What? Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, yes, sir. Uncle Jasper, we were digging your ditch and Ryan found some coins. They look really Stan old. says they might be Roman. Yes, 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 so I did. Old. Quiet! <laughs> Roman coins on my land? Hmm, these might be worth something. And I might even get my picture in the papers again. Well done, Ryan. Thank you very much for these. They're not for you. We found them. What? I mean, what? But, um, you two... I think the best thing would be to take them to the Babble Brook Museum. Have them take a look at the coins and see what they can make of them. Bye, Mr. Jones. Bye, Tomo. See you later. I should have dug that ditch myself. Perhaps there's more. That's it, Thomas, yes. And if we find more coins, I can keep them. All we need is a metal detector. Stumpy, are you all right? Oh, never better, Stan. Never better. <laughs> We're famous. Are you now? Well, well, well. And who's that, then? I found some Roman coins. We took them to the museum. And the man there said they were. Uh, were what? Roman. And he's going to put them on display in the museum. They're going to be called the Turvey Collection. After us. Well, now, isn't that something? <laughs> Roman coins, eh? Can't wait to tell Mum and Dad. Hmm. Maybe it's about time we were getting back. Roman coins. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. Stampy? Where is it? I'm sure it... No. Hang on it! No. Not there. Oh, where is it? Ah. Ah. Stampy? <laughs> I knew I'd seen it! Seen what? This! Yes, but what? See you later! Oh, I don't know. We found them just there, Uncle Jasper. There must be some more coins around here somewhere. Come to Daddy. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah! Oh, Stumpy! 
Nearly scared the life out of me. What on earth possessed you to jump out at me like that? Yeah, sorry, Mr. Jones. In a bit of a hurry. See, I bumped into Stan, well, a wall, actually, and he told me he'd found some Roman coins. And I remembered I'd got an old map of me dad's. It marks the spot of a Roman fort. Of course, boundary lines have changed a bit since his day, but I reckon it's somewhere around here. Perhaps I could have a look. Uh, there, see? Hang on, Stan. Uh, in a bit of a rush, I, I want to show it to Stan. Hmm. Well, if Stumpy's maps were right, the fort should be somewhere over there. And when I find it, <laughs> I'll be on the front page of the Babelbrook Gazette. We, oui, Uncle Jasper, I'm helping, remember? Yes, yes, of course. Hello? Yes. Oh, stupid thing! Hello? No, no, not you, my dear. <laughs> Is that the Babelbrook Gazette? Well, like I say, Stan, the boundaries have changed a bit since my old dad was a lad. But here's Tony Owl Wood. And I reckon that must be the Roman fort. So it looks as if the fort might be in Top Acre. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go and have a look. Hello! Sounds like I found... Ah! A horseshoe! Oh! Oh, you should be more careful. Ah, like... this time, yes, I'm sure I found. Ah Sorry I didn't see you there. Ah, you're the chap from the Babelbrook Gazette. Have I got a story for you? You arrived at just the right moment. Think I found something big. Aha. I appear to have detected your stuff. <clears throat> yes. Now, Mr. Jones, you say you've unearthed a Roman fort. Well, almost. Oh, hot work, this, Stan. <laughs> Are you sure we're looking in the right place? According to your dad's map, Stumpy, it ought to be somewhere around... Aha! Look at this. It's a brick. Great. A brick. But nothing's been built around here for ages. And look, here's another. I reckon this is part of a wall, Stumpy. And it looks as if it carries on along under there. Under that tree, Stump? <laughs> well, that's that. We'll never shift it. I think Little Red Tractor has other ideas. You haven't found a fort at all, have you, Mr Jones? Well, not yet, but I'm sure it's round here somewhere. We saw it on the map, didn't we, Thomas? I suppose so. <sighs> Come on, Little Red Tractor. You can do it. Oh. Nothing doing, Stan! Come on, one more try. It's moving! Go on, Little Red Tractor. Keep it going! Great stuff, Little Red Tractor. I knew you could Stan, do it. Stan! Come and take a look at this! Right, Mr Jones, I've got things to do. I said... Mr Jones, I... Mr Jones! I found something! I definitely found something, and this time it's big! Yes, but... Oh! Wow! Looks like we found the Roman fort, all right. Oh, thanks to Little Red Tractor. Just wait till the people at the Babelbrook Museum see this. Hello. Can you hear that? Yes. Sounds like a badger. With a paper. Ow! Almost got... Ah! Yet it's... Um, what is it? Stop it! Ah, here we... Ah. 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 I, uh... I seem to have detected Little Red Tractor. And we found the fort. Call yourself a metal detector. Why couldn't you have worked faster? Over here, please. Can I have a picture of the treasure seekers? Historic find by local man and his tractor. Pretty good stuff, eh? We're all famous. Thanks to a bit of help from Little Red Tractor. You really are the best. Phew! That was quite a storm we had last night, Little Red Tractor. Hmm, that gutter's going to need sorting out. Still, should hold off just long enough for us to get up to Top Acre and start sowing some seed. Come on! Wow! Phew! 
Thanks, little red tractor. That was a bit close. If there's tiles loose on the roof, the rain's going to get in unless we mend them pretty soon. Hmm. Better go and fetch the ladder. There we go. <laughs> oh, morning, Stan. <laughs> morning, Stumpy. Uh, nice driving. <laughs> yeah. Great little mover, isn't it, Per? Hmm? Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, this came to the windmill this morning. Got delivered to the wrong address. <laughs> For you, see. Oh, thanks, Stumpy. Uh, spot a bother with the roof, Stan. What? Oh, yes. Gutter's blocked and there's a couple of slates missing. I was going to go and sew Top Acre, but I don't think the roof will wait. Oh, no, of course it won't. Don't want the rain coming in, do you? Still, I tell you what, I'll fix it for you. Would you, Stumpy? That'd be a real help. Consider it done. I'll just put Nipper in the way. Thanks, Stumpy. Thanks a lot. There. Now you take that to Stumpy at the windmill. I had some flour from him the other day and I haven't paid him for it yet. OK, Mum. See you later. And hurry along. Looks like it's going to rain. Hello, Stan. Hello, little red tractor. Hello, you two. And where are you off to? Stumpy's. Mum asked us to pay him for some flour. Well, Stumpy's at my place at the moment, so perhaps you'd better give it to Elsie. After you've had some lemonade. You would like some. Oh, yes, please, Stan. You bet. Hmm. Ah, can't beat a nice drop of lemon. Whoa! Would you believe it? Must have forgotten to put the brake on. I think Little Red Tractor is playing a joke on you. Hmm. Maybe he was. <laughs> Um, Stan? I wonder if I could borrow your ladder for a few hours. Doing some painting and I can't reach the windows at the... Stan? Hmm, don't think he's in. And Little Red Tractor isn't here either. Well, if Stan's out, I don't suppose he'll mind if I borrow the ladder for a bit. Ah, there. One roof all fixed and as good as new. Oh, the ladder! It, it must have fallen over. Oh, it hasn't fallen over. It's gone. Well, looks like I'm stuck. Maybe there's somewhere I can climb down on the other side of the roof. Well done, little red tractor. All done. And just in the nick of time, too. Stumpy must have finished the roof. Looks like it's going to start raining any minute. Better get you undercover. Hello? Have I been working you too hard? That doesn't sound right. Come on, let's have a look at you. Come on, Patch. You better get undercover too. Nothing worse than the smell of wet dog, is there? Hmm. Looks to me like your fan belt has worked a bit loose. I have a spare in my toolbox. Ah, here we go. One brand new fan belt. Oh, sorry. Cold hands. Here we go. Nearly, nearly there. Feel better now? Good. Looks like the rain's easing off. Just as well we got out of it, eh, Patch? <laughs> Asleep again. <laughs> Chasing rabbits in your dreams, eh, Patch? Get me off this rotten roof! Hello? That wasn't you, was it, boy? Help! It's coming from outside. Help! Get me down! I'm cold and I'm wet and Stumpy? I... That you? Yes! And I'm stuck. What? Where's the ladder? I don't know. It's gone. One minute it was there, next minute, there it wasn't. Well, we'll have to get you down somehow. Little Red Tractor, think I've got a job for you. 
Stumpy's stuck on the roof. <laughs> no, I don't know how it happened, but the ladder's gone. So we'll have to use this. <laughs> don't worry, Stumpy. We'll have you down from there in no time. Right. Here we go. There. Right. Catch this. Oh, oh missed. Sorry, Stumpy. This time, eh? <laughs> Got you. Well done. Now, I want you to put the rope round the chimney. What? All right. But get ready to catch me. Don't worry. You'll be fine. That's it. Steady. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, pass the rope round the chimney. OK, Stumpy, this is the hard bit. The hard bit? Oh, it hasn't been exactly easy up to now. I know. You're doing great, Stumpy. Put your foot in the noose and lower yourself over the roof. Take the strain, little red tractor. Gently does it. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on tight, Stumpy. Any tighter? And my hands will seize up. Oh, oh. Ah. What's happening? The rope must have got caught on something. Forwards again. OK, and back up. Oh, oh. Hurry, Stan. The rope's starting to fray. And I don't know how long the chimney's going to take my weight, Stan. It's... Oh! Come on, little red tractor. You can do it. Oh, oh, my. OK, Stumpy. Oh, yes. Well, oh, I think so. Thanks, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. Ah, uh, there you are, Stan. I hope you don't mind. Borrowed your ladder for a while. Needed to finish painting my... Hello. What are you up to, Stumpy? I'm not up anymore, thank goodness. Mr Jones, you took the ladder. Yes? Why? Something wrong? Oh, yes. Just a bit. You see, Stumpy was fixing my roof, and he's been up there for ages. Little Red Tractor's only just managed to get him down. Oh, my word, I'm... Well, I... I'm sorry, Stumpy. Stan, if there's anything I can do to make amends... Well, there just might be, Mr Jones. Feeling better now? Oh, much better, thank you. <laughs> Good to be back on the ground. <laughs> Good job, Little Red Tractor. Lucky you and Little Red Tractor got me down when you did. It's pouring again now. <laughs> Might have got soaked. Yes. I wonder how Mr Jones is getting on. <sighs> oh, no! If anybody sees me up here, I'm done for. I'll never have to shoot my face anywhere. Making a lovely job of fixing that chimney is. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>